So pretty much everybody out there, including us here on this channel, have made you well aware of this new device by Leviton. It's their Decora Edge. But recently I came across this receptacle right here. This is also made by Leviton. It also has no terminal screws on it. So it's just as quick, easy, and safe to install as this Decora Edge with the lever connections. But this receptacle has been out for at least a decade. And at the time of recording this, there are literally no videos outside of Leviton trying to promote this talking about this device right here, even though it works just as well as this one, if not better. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Let's go. So this is the Leviton Levlock, and this particular model is your standard 15 amp receptacle. However, the baseline of these is commercial grade. So this is a commercial grade receptacle, and they come in a wide array of models. They make these in GFCIs. They also make hospital grade, so you can install hospital grade if you so desire. They're just built even better than your commercial grade. And that's one of the huge areas where I believe this Levlock beats out the Decora Edge. Now, of course, we know how easy this is to install the Decora Edge, but I'm gonna show you in a little bit just how easy this is to install as well. And they actually designed the Levlocks to be interchangeable so that they are quick to install and take out. So we talked about earlier how this does not have any terminal screws on either side, just like the new Decora Edge. However, the Decora Edge has these levers that flip up, insert the wire in the back, flip the lever down a lot like the Wagos are, then it holds it in place. So super easy, super quick to install, and they're also super safe because you have no exposed wiring. Well, the Levlocks do not have those levers, but 10 years ago, they came out to where if we flip this over here to the back, you see these three prongs that are here on the back. And no, these prongs on the back are not to take your wire and put them around them. These actually go into another device that's required in order to install these. You're gonna have to have one of these wiring modules or wiring harnesses. Now, obviously they have different options for these modules. This one is a little bit less expensive. It just has your wiring and the module itself. This one has the module, but it also already comes with these Wago Quick Connects already on the wiring. So it makes it super plug and play. But these are what will get connected to the wiring that's running in the wall or into the box. And then this will plug into this module and click into place. And once it clicks into place, it has a lot of surface contact and it's held in the place very securely. It can't just twist out. As you can see, it'll show which direction you have to twist it in order to lock or unlock the receptacle from the module. Another cool little detail they added to this is where you can add which circuit this is on. So when you look at this, it will tell you what circuit breaker this is. You can go to your circuit breaker panel and know exactly which one you need to turn on or off. Now, I mentioned earlier that the Levlocks, their standard is commercial grade, which is far superior to the residential grade that all of the new Decora edges come in. And if you have experience with residential grade versus commercial, you know that the components that are both inside and outside of these devices are made a lot stronger than your residential grade receptacles. And when you hold them in your hand, you can just feel the weight difference. And just like between your standard residential grade and commercial grade receptacles, your commercial grade is gonna run a little bit more money than your residential grade but it's more money for all the reasons that I just gave. So I'm gonna go ahead and install one of these modules and one of these receptacles. This will give you a better idea of the installation, just how quick and easy it is to do. And it'll also show you exactly how this works and how it connects to this module. And you'll see a little bit better as to why this makes such a good connection. All right, so currently I've got one of Leviton's Decora edges in here with the plate off. But the first thing before you ever wanna do anything electrical is you wanna turn off the circuit breaker. Then once that power's off, then I do wanna make sure that the power is in fact off. So in this case, I like to use this outlet tester because the Leviton Decor Edge has no external terminal screws for me to be able to use a more standard voltage detector, which I prefer to use like this one right here. So I'll just plug that in and I don't have any lights coming on, which is telling me that there's no voltage going to this receptacle. So now I can remove the receptacle from the wall and now I can disconnect the wires from the receptacle. Of course, on a standard receptacle, you'd have to loosen up the terminal screws and then remove the wires. All right, so the first step in installing one of these Levlocks 
is to wire up one of the modules. But for the sake of this video, I'll use the one that does not have the quick connects on it. And I'll be connecting everything using these Wago 221 lever nuts. Of course, wire nuts can be used as well. But for the sake of time, I'm just gonna use the Wagos because they are a little bit quicker to connect. And of course, I'll have links for these along with everything else you see in the video, including the tools down in the description down below, should you choose to check these out or pick them up for yourself. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do with this module is I'm gonna remove the insulation from each of the wires, and you can do that just by using your fingers. All right, so I've got a ground wire, a black hot wire, and a white neutral wire. If there were more receptacles going on from this, of course, I'd have another set of wires, but the instructions would still be the same. So I'm gonna take my wires from my module. I'm gonna start with the green ground wire and I'm gonna connect it to my bare copper wire coming out of the box. Now the way that these wagos work are these levers get flipped up. Then we'll insert the wires into one of these ports. So insert the first wire that's coming out of the box. Once that's seated, flip the lever down. Now I'll take the green ground wire coming from my wiring module, push it up into the wago connector and flip that lever down. And one thing that's nice about the Wagos is we can flip it upside down to the bottom and we can clearly see that our two wires are seated all the way at the top of this Wago. And we also have some copper down here below the bus bar, which means we're gonna have a good connection. So now that my grounds are all wired up, I can push that into the back of the box. Next, I'm gonna install my white neutral wire from the module to my white neutral wire coming out of the box. I'm gonna do the same thing that I did with the ground wires, insert the first wire in, flip the lever down, insert the white wire from the module in and flip the lever down. And just like with the ground, I always flip my wagos over just to make sure everything is seated correctly. And now those can be pushed into the back of the box. So last but not least, I've got my two black wires. Now I've learned some of you have a very keen eye and some of you may have seen where this is a 14 gauge wire coming out of the wall and this is a 12 gauge wire that's coming out of the module. Well, since we are installing a 15 amp receptacle on a 15 amp circuit, having this larger 12 gauge wire on the module is perfectly okay. That being said, even though we've got 12 gauge here coming out of the module and we have 14 gauge coming out of the wall, you would not be able to install a 20 amp receptacle on this because the wiring that's running in your wall and on that circuit is not large enough to handle the max load of a 20 amp receptacle. And these modules are interchangeable and capable of installing either 15 amp or 20 amp. So you just need to be aware of that just like you would any other time you're installing a receptacle. So again, I'm gonna take my Wago, insert the first black wire into one of those ports, flip the lever down, insert the black wire from the module into the Wago and flip that lever down and everything is connected properly. And so now that can get pushed into the back of the box. Hey, really quickly, if you're finding this video to be interesting or you've never even heard of this receptacle before, if you could do me a huge favor, hit that thumbs up button right down below or leave me a question or comment down in the comment section. It really does help the video out to spread out to other people and hopefully maybe we can make other people aware of this as well. I really appreciate it. Let's get back into it. All right, so now all the wiring is done, but we still need to install the receptacle and connect it to this module. And in order to do so, we need to remove this sticker from the module. And so now you can get kind of an idea as to what these prongs on the back of this receptacle are for. We've got three holes here. This one over here is the hot, this one in the middle is the ground, and then of course this one over here is the neutral. And that's how they are on this receptacle as well. So obviously these prongs go in each one of these holes. Now, some people might be asking, well, couldn't you get these reversed then and put the receptacle on backwards to where the hot wire is connected to the neutral side and vice versa. And the answer is no. If you see here on the receptacle itself, these plastic pieces that jut out on the back, there's only one way that this module can fit into those plastic pieces and then twist on. So there's no way that you can put this on backwards. Now, as you can see down inside of this module, on each of these holes, there's metal going all the way around inside each one of those holes. So when these prongs get inserted into this module, you can see how much surface contact we're gonna have between the receptacle and the module, which just provides for a much better connection, less resistance, and therefore less heating. So we'll just take the receptacle, line up each one of those prongs with the holes, tilt it at an angle like so, and now we'll just turn the receptacle clockwise in order to lock it into place, and now that receptacle cannot be pulled away from the module. But let's just say we no longer want this commercial grade receptacle, we wanna upgrade it to a hospital grade. All we have to do is turn it counterclockwise a quarter turn and pull it out, then take the new Levlock hospital grade receptacle, 
put it into those holes and turn it a quarter turn clockwise and now that receptacle is installed. And the same thing goes for the Levlock GFCIs that they make and also the switches. And now all that's left to be done is to screw down this receptacle down into the box and then put a cover plate in on top. So now at this point, I can turn the circuit breaker back on. Now that the circuit breaker is back on, now I'm gonna take my outlet tester and make sure that everything is wired up correctly. If these two lights over here on the right come on, that means that everything is wired up as it should be. So that's showing it's correct. Let's make sure the top one works. And those two lights are also lighting up there, so everything is wired up correctly. Now, in my opinion, the only place that the Levlock does not beat the new Leviton Decora Edge is in price. But to an extent, that should be expected because the Decora Edge is residential grade, whereas the Levlocks range anywhere from this commercial grade all the way up to hospital grade. But you also have the cost of the modules that have to be installed, whereas the standard one that I installed inside this box was three bucks, and then this one with the Wago Quick Connects already on it ran me, I believe it was like 450. And that is literally the only reason I can come up with as to why these are not more popular and why there are literally zero videos out there, aside from Leviton promoting this, talking about these. Because these have all of the benefits of the Decora Edge between their ease of use, their quick installation, their safety factor, and how DIY friendly they are, and then all of the options that you have with the Levlock family. On top of their build quality is just so much better than the Decora Edge and just any of your standard residential grade receptacles. So again, I'm not saying not to use these. They are very good for what they are. But if you want my recommendation between the two and the price difference for getting better quality is not a big deal to you, that's why I'm recommending the Levlock over the Decora Edge. Hey, before you go, if you found these Levlocks to be as interesting as I have found them to be, but you'd still like to know a little bit more about Leviton's new Decora Edge, I'll post a link to that video right up here where it'll take you directly to it, where I go in depth about this receptacle. I do a little bit of testing on it and I also show how quick the installation is. So I hope that you found this video to be interesting. If you did, if you could do me a huge favor, hit that thumbs up button right down below. And of course, if you have any questions or comments still, you can leave those down in the comment section. And I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.